Hi, I'm Scott, and welcome to Everything Board Games. Today I thought I'd take you around to my shelves and show you exactly what games I have. And uh, maybe if you get some ideas, a lot of those games aren't painted. I will be doing you know, some painting tutorials. Um, my painting style is, it's, it ranges between table ready and a little bit higher quality, it depends. Um, I have sold my painted miniatures on eBay um, at times, so um, whatever you guys would like to see. We're going to go around, uh, I have three huge shelves full of games, and uh, we're going to go around and take a look at those and uh, let you know what I have, get an idea of what my collection is working with, and uh, then pretty soon uh, I'll be adding new games. Going to Origins this year, and uh, there's always new games. Um, let's go down and, uh, and take a look at the shelves. And I thought for one of my first videos I would show uh, what games that I currently have. Um, we'll start out here on top of my shelf. I have three shelves currently of games that I own. Uh, the top thing is uh, Star Trek Five Year Mission. It's a dice rolling game. Uh, then we have Robinson Crusoe, which is one of my favorite games right now. And uh, Terraforming Mars. Great Western Trail and Imperial Settlers. I think you're probably seeing somewhat of a um, Ignacy Chevichek uh, theme in these, in at least two of those ones that I've showed you already. Um, down here on the first shelf, we have Formula Day, Deception and Murder in Hong Kong, uh, Arcadia Quest, Betrayal on House on the Hill, and Xeno Shift. Um, also in the small boxes up there, I have uh, Hanami Koji and Gloom, uh, Cry Havoc over here on the right. Down on the next shelf we have Marvel Legendary, gets a lot of play. Uh, Seven Wonders, the uh, Turtles game from IDW, uh, Cash and Guns, New York 1901, Old Classic, Ticket to Ride, Animals on Board, got that last year at Origins for the kids. Down on this level we have uh, Legendary Civil War and uh, Secret Wars. Uh, Star Realms, which is uh, repurposed into an old Magic the Gathering box because I had so many uh, um, so many cards, couldn't fit them all in the original box. Um, Beta Bots, which just came out, great Kickstarter, good game. Uh, Legendary Encounters, which uh, that is uh, the Alien one, so that's a good game. Now let's take a look down at the next shelf and... Uh, we have Orléans, uh, Shadows of Brimstone, both core sets and uh, one of the expansions, actually two of the expansions. Orléans, which is new to my collection. Uh, Hanabi, uh, The Resistance, some social games, uh, Hero Realms. Uh, Gluttony and Wrath, which are expansions to the others, which I have somewhere. Um, also have uh, Small World. Apples to Apples. A um, couple of promos from Origins last year. DC deck building game Crisis. The Plano box you see there is uh, full of parts, extra parts for Shadows of Brimstone because that is a game that is very hard to store. <laughs> so let's go on to the bottom shelf. Down here we have the others. There it is. Uh, we have Clank. It's a good, good deck building board game. Uh, Rum and Bones. Quadropolis, Five Tribes. Uh, cosmic encounter and uh, we will move on to uh, the next shelf here we are at my next shelf I have uh, Onitama I have some Dice Masters packs got Dead of Winter uh, Risk Legendary Encounters this one's the Predator pack um, I have the entire set of Zombicide all the way through Zombicide Black Plague and Wolfsburg have uh, Tempura Bang the Dice Game um, Big Zombicide fan. Uh, down here we have uh, Sushi Go, Sheriff of Nottingham, uh, Smash Up, and a couple of Smash Up uh, expansions on the far right. Uh, Pandemic, the original. Usual Suspects, Seven Wonders Duel, King of Tokyo. Uh, I've the two code names that are currently available. The kids enjoy those. Uh, down here we have Dominion, both Arkham Horror and Eldritch Horror, Doom and Blood Rage, Cthulhu. Pandemic, uh, which is a uh, Pandemic Reign of Cthulhu, Matches of Madness, and the expansion that's come out for it now. Down here on the bottom, I just have uh, Mice and Mystics Evolution, 
an old Monopoly game that the kids like, and uh, Legendary Dark City. And now I'll move on to my last shelf. Okay, here we are at the last shelf. I have uh, Phantom. I got that at Origins last year. I haven't even opened it. They had a discount down to like 10 bucks, so I'll get a chance to play it eventually. Uh, we have all the expansions for Time Stories, which I have on the next shelf down below. Uh, X-Wing, Star Wars, uh, Descent, uh, that's uh, version 2. Champions of Midgard, Ninja All-Stars. Um, we got uh, Conan, which was my Christmas present this year from the fiancé. I have uh, Doomtown and a couple expansions. 51st State, uh, Arcadia Quest Beyond the Grave, that's an expansion for the Arcadia Quest we have downstairs. Um, I have uh, Rebellion and uh, Heroes of Normandy. Uh, a, couple, well, a couple of them, a lot of this on this shelf uh, uh, is games that I haven't played yet um, that we have, and uh, we'll get to them. We'll get to them. Down here, I have Time Stories, Ghost Stories, uh, Super Dungeon Explorer, and the expansion The Forgotten King. Over here on the right, I have Risk Legacy and Kemet, Pandemic Legacy. Um, Alien vs. Predator and Death Watch Overkill, which is uh, one of the first games I bought after I went out of my Warhammer phase. Um, there's a DC vs. game over there on the far right as well. Uh, down here, games that I'm going to be reviewing and looking at. Um, Assault of the Giants, Mysterium, Imperial Assault. Um, I have a lot of Painted minis, I think I'll uh, go ahead and show you guys those here in a second. Um, be right back. Alright, we're in here in my workroom, and hopefully this comes out alright. I have uh, my Imperial Assault minis up on the shelf. Uh, some of them are painted. I haven't gotten around to all of them, but uh, there are a lot that are painted. And then the shelves below are all Warhammer stuff. Um, a lot of it I haven't gotten to paint, but... That is going to be part of this. This is the Necrons shelf. That is going to be part of this. Uh, this is my Damons of Corn shelf. Uh, it's a little light, you're probably noticing, but uh, that is because um, I've been kind of selling some of it off on eBay as uh, the painted ones. And then I have a bottom shelf with uh, armies that I do not quite remember right now, but uh, that'll work. Yeah, one of the things I failed to mention in the welcome video is something else that this uh, channel will be about, and uh, I'll probably do some painting tutorials. Um, these are some of the minis that I have uh, painted recently. Um, we got some Mansions of Madness stuff here. Um, some Arcadia Quest goblins that uh, a friend of mine painted, and he will probably make a guest appearance here and there on this channel. Got a lot of the a lot of the painted the minis painted. Um, I'm just about done with Mansions of Madness. I just bought the expansion, so I have uh, that to go as well. But uh, I have uh, several, several minis painted up from that, and there is uh, one creepy-looking one. Um, I have ordered a uh, box from a place on the internet off Etsy that uh, she's supposed to hold the Mansions of Madness, a uh, insert that will hold the Mansions of Madness, because right now, honestly, it's just a jumbled mess in the box, because they they do not, Fantasy Flight is really bad at making their games uh, storable after after you've punched out all the pieces and stuff. They're, they're really bad at making games storable. So uh, I think that'll be about it for this video. Um, I got some things coming up here in this week. Uh, hopefully there'll be some things that we'll enjoy. Uh, if you have any questions about anything I've shown you here today, please take a look in the, uh, leave a comment below. I will, uh, I will answer every comment that I see, and I appreciate your time. And I will see you soon.